Hi, and welcome to Yoga Shorts. My name is Lola, and I am um, with the Sharon Forks Library, a part of the Forsyth County Public Library System in Georgia, coming to you from outside today um, with my buddy Jesse. So you may see uh, my dog wandering around a little bit, a lot of outside noises going on. We'll just let that be part of our practice today. So I hope this is an opportunity for you to step away from your busy day and take a break for yourself, take a breath, move the upper body a little bit, and then be refreshed maybe, ready to get back on with your day. Today we're going to um, practice a breath that lengthens the exhale, so the exhale will be just a little bit longer than the inhale. Always follow your own um, help, honor your body, and if you've had any instructions from the doctor, be sure to honor that. If you are expecting, you will not want to do the twists. Again, always check with your doctor first to see. So let's get started. We will first, I'm seated on a bench. My hands are resting in my lap or on my thighs. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, go ahead and do that. If not, you can lower your gaze towards the ground. And we'll start by just noticing our body, how we feel today. Notice where we're sitting. Check in with with the shoulders and if they have crept up towards the ears during the day, let them go. Let them relax down a little bit. Release any tension in your jaw. Check with the muscles around your eyes, your forehead, your temples, and allow any tension to just fade away. Notice your breath, any movement in your body when you inhale and you exhale. And we'll move into a practice of lengthening the exhale. So I'm going to count an inhale to a count of three and an exhale to a count of four. So here we go. Let's inhale to a count of one two, three, and exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale to a count of one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale to a count of one, two, three, Exhale, one, two, three, four, and then let that go, return your breath to its natural rhythm. And when you're ready, let your eyes gently open, and check in with your body again, see how it feels after taking a moment to focus on the breath with a little bit longer exhale. If you'd like to try this, you can do it in the evening. Sometimes at bedtime, if you're having a little trouble going to sleep, you can lengthen that exhale. You can actually practice lengthening, lengthening the exhale up to twice the length of the inhale. So for example, if you were inhaling to a count of three like we just did, you could practice exhaling to a count of six. You don't want to go over double the length of the inhale. But it takes a little practice, but it does um, have the ability to have a very relaxing effect on the nervous system. Give it a try. See what you think. So let's move into our arm movements for the day. So we're going to inhale and let our arms come up into a cactus arm position. And as you exhale, send your elbows and the backs of your hands back. So your shoulder blades are getting closer together. Inhale, let that relax forward. Exhale, send the backs of the hands, the elbows back. And come back forward again. Turn your palms towards your head so your thumbs are back. And for our last inhale, send your thumbs and your elbows back. Your chest is opening, shoulder blades closer together on that inhale. And exhale, let the arms come back forward and let them relax in your left. And give some shoulder movements to let that go a 
little bit. So we're going to move into our cactus arms again. This time inhale the arms up into your cactus arms. As you exhale, let your arms come together so your elbows and your palms come close together. They may not touch, that's okay, or they may touch, and that's good too. But as you're inhaling and exhaling, send that breath right in between the shoulder blades or wherever you find tightness. We're not trying to force, just opening our backs and our shoulders. And inhale, see if you can send your elbows up a little bit higher. And exhale. One more breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. And then inhale the arms back to cactus. And let the arms go. Wiggle the shoulders again. Little up to the ears and down or maybe make circles with them back and forth. So with our next movement, we're going to do the cactus arm movement again, but we're going to twist our body using the muscles in the um, side body and the front body. So we'll inhale our arms come up to cactus. And as you exhale, start to turn the body to the right. See if you can keep your arms still in that same plane of movement. The front arm tends to want to come ahead a little bit. Inhaling and exhaling in your twist. See if you have any more room in your next inhale for just a little more twist, not forcing. And as you exhale, bring your arms back around to the front and let them down for a minute. So you can do the same thing to the left side. So inhale the arms up. Exhale, turn to the left. Checking that front arm, make sure it's not creeping ahead. Inhaling and exhaling in your left twist. Sometimes you'll find one side is a little easier to do than the other. And on your next inhale, inhale back to the center. And exhale, let the arms go, move those shoulders a little bit. Inhale, and exhale. And we'll do one more inhale, sending the arms up overhead. If the palms touch, great. If not, that's okay. We're just going to exhale and circle the hands around. Let's do that one more time, inhaling arms up. And as you exhale, they circle back down. And one more inhale up. And exhale down. And let that all go. Let your hands come back to rest again. Shake it out. So we've practiced our intentional breath today with trying to lengthen the exhale a little bit. We've practiced several movements with our arms in cactus position. Hopefully giving you a chance to the body moving and taking a break from your day. I hope you are doing well continue to take care of yourself. Take a break for yourself every once in a while when you can. Step away, maybe into a quiet spot in the house where you can close the door. Thanks for joining me. We hope to see you next time.